What's up guys? This video shows how to fix Samsung TV broken screen and how you can easily do this at home. You can get your display back, watch the video complete, don't skip any part. I will tell you complete step by step tutorial on how to fix this. I have power on the TV, you are watching that the screen is damaged and cracked. I will assure you that this is the best and full detailing tutorial ever on Samsung broken TV screen. So subscribe my channel and like the video. We have to open the back case of the TV. It have screws on its back side. Open them one by one. Now lift the back cover and place it on a side. Next step is to detach the speakers cables from the motherboard. These are the speakers and also detach the power button connector from the motherboard. Now we have to remove the LVDS cable. Our T cone or scalar PCB is freed. Release this from the locks. It is now free. This is the motherboard of Samsung TV viewers. The main thing of today video is I am installing a non Samsung panel in a Samsung TV because Samsung panels are costly and non Samsung panels are cheap. We have to open the plastic bezel that is used for panel safety. It has small tiny locks that can be undone by a finger our front side is clear now now i will lift the broken panel and place it on a side Viewer, this is the new panel, a non Samsung panel. This is the main thing. I will show you how to modify its connection. So I am telling you again that don't skip any part because it cannot be directly attached to a Samsung motherboard. Take care of the four corners that should be well in line with the rubber fittings. I have cut the back cover and bend it because there are cuff on Chinese panel you can see that and if I have not done this they should be damaged by the iron fitting. So try to bend them before installing the bezel. After doing this just place the front bezel and gently press it downwards. Non Samsung panel is now properly placed and secured. Now I will turn the TV and modify its connections.
guys you can see that the cuffs are well placed and i have also attached some tape so they cannot be damaged now guys you can see that the lvds cable of old panel is useless for chinese it has its own we have to install this you can see the old lvds cable its connections are different and also the old one has t cone on its board but we have t cone separate on this chinese panel so on the motherboard side of the tv we have to modify its connections take a universal lvds cable i will guide you through the whole process this is the first ever detailing video on this viewers no one has teach you such deeply this is a universal tv card and because the panel is universal so we have to point out the connections on the universal card we have to cut the lvds cable and solder it on samsung tv motherboard we have to solder it here viewers on these testing points so first of all you can see that it have red wire for vcc black for ground and other five pairs so these five pairs are used to check that on which points we have to solder this we can use a digital multimeter set it on continuity mode and check the connections that we have to solder check that on which points you are getting the continuity and mark them on a page i will later share you the whole picture and diagram of this guys this universal tv card is used only for marking the points that we have to take the connections of these five pairs this is the picture viewers these are the connections needed on both sides so i will cut them and i will mark the pairs of wires as 1 2 3 4 5 5 so it is easy to solder it on the same points i have cut the first pair now i will mark it as 1 this is the first pair viewers I will take a masking tape and now mark it as one. So it is the first pair we will. now mark the second pair as 2 and do the same process as 
you are watching that i have marked all the five pairs 1,2,3,4,5 Red wire is used for VCC connections and black is used for ground. Now take a look at this diagram. This is Samsung motherboard side panel connections. We have to connect to these points and this is universal LVDS side connections. These are the markings I have made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First pair is connected with A0 plus A0 minus with E0 plus E0 minus. Second is connected to A1 plus A1 minus with E1 plus E1 minus. Third one is connected with A2 plus A2 minus with E2 plus E2 minus. Fourth is connected with C plus C minus with E C plus E C minus and fifth is connected with A3 plus A3 minus with E3 plus E3 minus. Black is connected with ground to ground. Red is connected with VCC to VCC. One important thing that white wire has positive signals and blue wire has negative signals. So remember this polarity. This is the graphic representation of the connections you have to make. Guys, I have made it easier for you to understand the whole process. So like the video, now take out the Samsung TV motherboard. and solder its points that we have to use for soldering. First of all, solder the first pair of wires. on E0 plus and E0 minus then solder the second, third, fourth and fifth pair accordingly then VCC and ground here I have soldered all the points and attached a tape that our cable is secured now we have to attach it through a t-cone that have come with the panel firstly attach this lvds to the t-cone then on the scalar pcb Secure the LVD cable by putting an extra tape. Now attach its one end to the T cone. And other end to the panel side.
also attach the power button i have installed the t cone and fitted it with a screw on the back cover you can see that now i will attach the speakers here our speakers are properly adjusted now i i will put the back cover and install the screws now i will turn the tv and check it you can see that our display have come back but the picture is flipped upside down so in order to fix this we have to go into the factory menu and then adjust it our display is upside down there are many chances that when you install a new panel other than the same model you have this problem so to fix this power off the tv and press a secret code that is info menu mute and power key press them without any pause and you have the factory settings i have pressed the key combination the tv is powered on and you can see that the picture is upside down now i will press the option menu press okay here you have to go into the second last option that is mrt option now go to second option that is hv flip it is on you can change it to off now it is off and our picture is okay now the upside down problem has been solved so viewers this is the method on how you can fix a tv broken screen and install a non samsung panel in a samsung led tv i have told you all all the process through installing and modification of all the connections and lvds cable and then after this the picture is upside down and i have adjusted it so hope you have liked the video keep watching our channel and thanks for watching goodbye viewers